everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you my outfits of the week. I don't know if I'm going to be making it to the gym much this week. If you didn't know, I'm training for the Boston Marathon. I'm doing it virtually in October, so I'm probably going to be taking some days off of the gym, but I'm going today, um, and basically I'm running a lot. If you're not following along, you can follow me on Instagram, it's just kept one. Um, but I'm running a lot and I just think it's a lot on my body, um, especially as I'm getting up in mileage. I did my first half marathon distance on Saturday and I was going to take today off. It's Monday. Um, I was going to take today off, but I feel like I need to move my body and I'm not currently working because it's summertime. So I figure I'll go. It's a cardio day. I'll just like kind of like not go 100, 100 percent you know like just use it as a recovery workout to keep the blood moving because I definitely don't want to just like sit around all day I feel like the sitting around is making me stiffer so I had a great rest day yesterday I stretched I foam rolled I actually took a bath like had some Epsom, Epsom salts um, for my legs and stuff so I think today what I really need to do is to move so um I'm not sure what this video this week is going to look like just because I might not be doing my normal workouts, but I will hopefully be able to show you my outfits for running and stuff like that. So away we go. It is Monday and I'm wearing Gymshark. This is the training ruched sports bra and the loose fit shorts. You are special. Yeah, you're special. So the training sports bras are awesome. They're like my favorite things. Um, for sports bras from Gymshark. The ruched one is supposed to be medium support. It is cardio today, but for me that should be plenty of support. Um, I find it's like nice and snug, so that's a good thing. And then the loose fit shorts are what they really are called. They're loose fitting. There's no liner, so I just wear like for my underwear on a day like this, if I wear like kind of like a briefy style thing that's gonna mimic the kind of shorts that have something under it just so I don't feel weird you know so I just like match I just wear black underneath um, but these are really comfortable for that kind of a workout I wouldn't wear these personally to run in because I do get chafing um, on my thighs so the shorts that I wear I mean I've talked about them a million times and I'm sure you're gonna see them in a clip sometime this week but they're by um, Fabletics and they come down lower um, so these though, if I'm doing cardio at the gym, I find like the way that my legs move around, they don't really rub together. These are nice. They actually have this um, silicone band in the front. So they actually stay in place really nice. So like right now I have them up high, but you could wear them a little bit lower, um, just wherever you're comfortable. But this should be a great cardio outfit. It's light, it's breathable. Um, so if it's really hot in there, if it's a hot day, I should be really comfortable. It's Tuesday and I'm wearing Fabletics. This is the Sienna sports bra and the on the go seven inch short. Seven inch shorts were a seven mile run today. I have a seven mile run. I just got this outfit actually at Fabletics. There is gonna be a haul coming up soon, maybe Monday or Wednesday, depending how next week goes. <laughs> um, so, I just got this outfit at Fabletics. I love these on the go shorts, but these are seven in inch and usually I do six. So I don't know why they did an inch longer. I think this six is a little more flattering on, but whatever, I love this color. It's called pink punch, but to me it looks very like red, but I guess it is a little bit pinkish. And then this is a Sienna sports bra. It's considered high impact. I think the back's really cute. Normally I wear the on the go bra and it has like the little pocket in the back, but you know, I have my side pockets, so we should be good. I always put my phone in my side pocket for my runs and I do have a waste pack for my water bottle when it's like a longer run. So I'm just gonna do that. We do have leg day for burn today and I might watch it back and do some of it from home. I have weights here and stuff, you know, from quarantine times. Um, but I've just been finding it's really been difficult to manage like the running and doing burn boot camp, and especially like on a longer run day and a leg day, it's kind of a lot. And basically like they have a 9.30 a.m. class and then the next one is not till like four in the afternoon. So I might, depending when I come back from my run, how I'm feeling, 
might do some like leg stuff if I'm not like totally burnt out, like have some lunch and then do that. I don't know, no promises. If I do, I guess maybe I'll show you. Um, so I don't know, but anyway. Um, this should be a good running outfit. I'm glad this is a higher impact sports bra that should be really comfortable. And these are super comfortable for running in. So very happy with this outfit today. Seven miles done. I did not want to do it today. I don't know. I think cause my half marathon was so difficult the other day. Um, my legs are really sore. So definitely don't see a leg day in my future. I don't think that's good for me at this point today. Um, I think stretching and foam rolling is what needs to happen. And then we'll go from there. I have another run tomorrow and another run Thursday and another run Saturday. So we'll see. So maybe I'll show you my outfit tomorrow. It's Wednesday and I'm wearing Fabletics. This is the Leilani sports bra and the Oasis shine legging. So I actually don't have a run today. I thought I did, but it's not on my plan, so I'm not gonna run. <laughs> but I am gonna be doing core and cardio at Burn. Um, I just got these. These are from Fabletics, and I will be showing these in a haul probably next week. They are the Shine leggings, and then this is like a zip-up sports bra. So I'm really curious how this is gonna go, um, but I think it's really fun. It's um, part of one of the special collections right now. And I just love this like shiny navy. I think it's really awesome. I just finished my cardio workout at Burn. I ended up switching my sports bra um, at the last minute. I kind of wanted to wear a tank top. I wasn't totally comfortable with that. So I ended up switching to the Bell, which is also high impact. It's super cute. Um, but like definitely holds you in for a cardio day. I was a little nervous because the other one like kind of came down and I didn't know if I was like moving around, if I would just start to get uncomfortable. And then the neck was so high, it like came out, like the collar came out of my tank top. Um, so I ended up switching sports bras, but I loved the pants. They're so fun, they're so shiny. I just really enjoyed wearing those and they're very stretchy. Um, it's a, definitely a different material because of the shine. I think it's more polyamide, so Overall, it ended up being comfortable and I'm kind of glad I swapped out the sports bra. I will definitely wear that eventually, but maybe, I don't know, maybe more of like a home workout because you can't really wear anything over it. I don't know. <laughs> it's Thursday and I'm wearing Fabletics. This is the Jaclyn Tank in the Oasis 6 inch shorts. So I actually just did my run. I had a three mile run and now I have my burn workout it's upper body strength so i did wear these shorts on my run these are the oasis six inch so they have pockets on the side which is really nice for my phone and then um, i just switched into this tank top for my upper body strength workout i have a fabletics haul coming up next week um, so you should be able to see that soon with this tank in it um, but it has like little adjusters on the side so you can like make it cropped or you can pull it down. And it has a built-in bra. It's not gonna be super supportive. So I didn't wanna wear this on my run and like I didn't think it would have enough support for that. But for upper body strength, it should be good. And it does have, it's not like normal cup pads. It has like very thin little things in there just to give you a little bit of coverage. So I'm glad it has that. I kinda wish it was like normal cup pads but maybe it was like see-through or something. I'm not sure. Um, but just a classic like black and white outfit. Just finished a pillar arm day, woo! Feeling the pump, just kidding. <laughs> it was really hard though. Um, I definitely was really feeling it. We had um, three triple sets, so three moves and then three different circuits and wow. And each one had a different type of push-up, so really worked on those push-ups today. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It's Friday and I'm wearing Fabletics. This is the Bell sports bra and the Oasis shorts. Today I am 
going to burn boot camp to do a cardio workout. It's athletic conditioning, so usually those are really fun, very active. Tomorrow I have a long run, but I think it'll be good to like get my body moving. I'm not gonna like go too crazy there, um, but it should feel good to get some movement in and definitely gonna do some stretching foam rolling because I get to run 15 miles tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a lot this week um, to kind of like balance the running and the workouts, but overall, I think everything's going well. So definitely make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more updates about my marathon training. I'll be running it in October. So make sure to stick around so you can see more about that. Yeah! Y'all look good! I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you are subscribed for future updates and I'll see you in the next video soon. Have a great day, stay positive, bye!